guys, this is James from Squid Gaming bringing you another Portal 2 authoring tools tutorial. And in this one, we will be doing aerial faith plates. Um, I know quite a lot of people have been wanting this from the start, but it is one of the most complicated tutorials I have done. So stay, uh, stay focused, I guess is the word. Yep, whatever. So start with an entity tool entity. You want that to be a prop underscore dynamic and click apply. You want the world model property. Click browse and type in faith the faith plate and there's two here. Yeah, big ass faith plate there, which I'm not sure entirely what that's for. But I'm just going to use the standard one and click apply again. You'll see you have it there. You also want to give that a name. Call it catapult. I'm not sure if I spelled that right, but I think I did. Then you want where is it? Collisions. You want to set that to not solid and click apply. And disable shadows, make that yes. Okay, so you now have that, just really manipulate that in the window so it sort of looks good and next you want to create an info target entity which is what I've got here I'll just delete that and start again forgot to delete that so entity tool and then in the class we want to type in target you want the info underscore target and click apply and give that the name catapult target will work and click apply <coughs> all right then you want them to be in line so it's shooting you in the correct direction. Um, I believe this is also backwards, so I'll just rotate that. The, um, there's a little aperture science symbol on the faith plates there. That is at the front of the faith plate, so make sure you do that. If, so make sure you aim it the right direction, or else the animation will just be retarded. Then you want to grab your block tool and draw a nice box over it and a little bit through it with the trigger texture so apply that enter and you want to select that press control T and type in catapult I guess I did spell it wrong before didn't I and click apply and give that the name catapult. I'll use the name catapult. Just catap. That'll work. No, not catapult. catapult. And apply. And in this um, entity, this is where all 
the stuff is done. So you want to go to the launch target one and select your catapult target entity. So it will shoot you to that. Uh, next you want the player speed. This depends on how sort of far you want to shoot them. I use about 750 for this room. And let's, let's go 7 so 650 for this room. And for physics objects add 150 to that. So 800. Then you want the where is it? The angular apply angular impulse. I'm gonna make sure that is yes. And you can also change the if you're not using a target and you just want to shoot it not you no know, not to an exact location, you can make it oh, where is it? Launch direction, there we go, you can change that so maybe 90 degrees it'll go straight up and stuff like that. So then you'll for that you'll change the first zero into a minus ninety. So you can just fiddle around with those settings to get the right thing. And then go to outputs and add an on catapulted you want the catapult you know, the faith plate model to have set animation and if you are making it Fire, shoot you on an angle, you would type in angled, like I am. But you can also type in straight up for if you're shooting straight up, which will make it just uniformly shoot you the animation look like it's shooting you up. And also fast if you want it to be shooting things quickly. And click apply unless you want to delay, which you don't normally, I don't think. And one final thing, again with the entity tool, and you want to type in ambient, as in ambient sound, and select the ambient underscore generic entity and click apply. Give that the name Kata sound and you want the sound name click browse and in the filter type in C floor and you will come up with the metal underscore seafloor car dot bullet impact. Strange name, I know, but that's what it's called. And click apply. Oh, and also you want to select the source entity name and you want the catapult you know, the faith plate model which will make the sound come from that model instead of come from wherever this entity is. You can also just place the entity next to the model and have the same effect. And go to the flags, select start silent and is not looped. You want those ticked. Then finally in the trigger again, go to the outputs, click add, and go on catapulted the cata sound, and you want play sound 
and click apply. That's basically it. Now just exit out of that and run your map and hopefully this will work. Okay, so here we are back in our map. And go into my faith plate room. Here is the faith plate. And it should shoot me somewhere over there. Here we go. And there's the animation working perfectly and the sound so that's pretty much it you can just play with this all you want if you walk into it too fast the animation does sort of restart a bit quickly but you cannot really stop that that, you know, that happens in the full game so yeah this is James from Squid Gaming this has been another Portal 2 Authoring Tools tutorial. Hope you learned something once again. And stay tuned. See you next time.